first you'll need to take your card and fold it in half. I am using an A5 piece of card here but you can use any size you want and you can just adjust the size of your painting. Then taking a ruler, draw a line in the centre of the card and this will help ensure that the tree is straight and symmetrical. Taking a slightly thicker paintbrush, you want to wet the brush and pick up some paint. I'm taking a lighter green and I am diluting it with more water and this will be the first layer of the tree. I want my tree to take up most of the space on the card so I'm starting three quarters of the way down the card and I'll start with painting the base of the tree working my way up. In a dabbing motion start painting a long triangle pointing outwards. This will form the longest branch and it will be the base of the tree. And on the other side, do the same and try to make it a bit more symmetrical. But don't worry if the shape isn't exactly how you want it, because once we've have, once we've got the whole outline of the tree, we can come back and fix the shape. With each branch you paint on top, the triangle will get shorter. To help the tree look a bit more realistic, you can paint the triangles, some pointing upwards and some pointing slightly downwards. Once you have the outline of the tree, use a darker green. As you can see here, I've added a bit of brown to darken my green and I've also used a darker green in my palette. And add it sparsely across the tree to give the tree another dimension and more depth. Now that I have the outline of my tree, I want a wreath to surround my tree. So I'm using a compass and pencil and outlining a circle around it, leaving some space at the bottom and leaving the open, the top open. To paint the leaves around the wreath, Point the tip of your paintbrush on the line of the wreath and then slightly drag your brush and lift off so it leaves a slightly pointy tip. But don't worry if the leaves aren't perfect because leaves aren't perfect in real life so it looks more realistic. I'm now drawing some stems in the wreath um, so I can add some berries to give my card a pop of colour. Here I've switched to a smaller brush and I'm taking a rose and orange to mix into a red colour for my berries. Taking the same red, I'm now drawing some baubles along the tree. From here, you can use any colours to draw baubles and decorate the tree. I'm using blue and then I've mixed the blue with the red to create a purple. And I've also taken some yellow to draw some baubles and I've used it to draw a star at the top of the tree. Taking some brown, you just want to finish up the tree with a stump.